Hello everyone. I wanted to reach out to our present students, our parents, our faculty, administrators, and our broader community just to uh, reconnect. It's been a short time since I've spoken with most of you, but the world has changed during that time. We've gone through some, some unprecedented moments in our history, and it's a time where there's been a lot of anxiety and worry and some health concerns some financial concerns as well. And I just want to do uh, reconnect and reach out to the broader community because all of us are in this together. And uh, it's important that we remember during these challenging times that the connections that we've made, you know, the school oftentimes as a touchstone allows us to get the kind of encouragement, reinforcement uh, that all of us need to thrive and, and do well. We will get through this and pass this ordeal, uh, but just know that there are a number of people that are thinking about you, and this is something where we can all reach out and help each other uh, as we work through these challenges. This COVID-19 virus uh, has uh, pushed the school through a variety of shifts and changes in the past few weeks. Um, we, we made our decisions driven by the CDC and the WHO and helping to guide us uh, with what our direction was, as well as our local authorities, state and national as well. And initially that put us in a position as we were moving towards spring break and trying to protect our international students in particular, uh, where the virus seemed to be running rampant at the time. So we had a large group of students that stayed at school over spring break. That meant that our faculty and administrators uh, gave up time during their own spring break uh, to support our students. We had as many as, as 50 students staying on campus. And so I just want to uh, express my great appreciation for our faculty and administrators and our staff who do such a wonderful job of supporting our students. That's really how we stand apart as an institution, is those relationships and the depth of the types of support that our, uh, our folks offer here. Um, as we got further along into the process, uh, and the virus began to spread across the United States, we made some shifts and changes, and we began to prepare towards uh, a distant learning model, distance learning model, and we also at the same time uh, realized that as we got, as the, in trying to risk uh, the spread of the virus in the United States, that the best decision was to send all of the students who were boarders home. And that allowed us to have the separation and all the guidelines that are helping all of us these days through the CDC to try to not just wash our hands, but the social distancing and staying at home, the kinds of decisions that may be hard, especially for young folks who seem invincible and would likely not be the ones getting the virus, but we also don't know about the spread because they're so much unknown at this stage. So finally, we've moved to the point where, uh, starting on Monday, we will open up with virtual perkiomen. Uh, a shift for us, but something that many institutions are moving towards. Uh, I'm amazed at how quickly and adeptly our faculty uh, shifted the way in which they will deliver their lessons. Uh, at the same time, I also know that this will be new for all of us. So students uh, are out there right now who um, won't have good access to technology, or they may not have all of their materials. They may have their iPad still here in their dorm room. We're going to work through all of this together. This is a time for the students to not feel under great pressure. Uh, and the same with the faculty. This is something that we will all work through together in the coming weeks and still allow us to provide a great educational experience, but one from afar. And I think it's important to stress that while we are not going to be in the same space, that doesn't keep us from continuing to build the, the great connections that we've already developed. It's important for us to be able to reach out to each other and support each other uh, through this next stage of learning. Uh, the most important thing with virtual learning, I just want to reinforce to everyone, is um, you need to be communicating. So don't sit out there and wait and wonder. The more communication between you and your teacher and your classmates is going to help us thrive through this process. So it's important that we all keep that in mind. Um, you know, at this point in all of our experiences, I, it takes me back to who we are as a school and how we define ourselves. It's oftentimes a crisis that defines who you are. 
And this school is a school of resilient, creative thinkers, innovators, and I think instead of seeing this as a crisis so much, to see this as an opportunity. This is a great chance for us to build on something and to develop something new and to turn this into a positive. Let's make this a positive, memorable moment for us as an institution. Uh, this, this winter we had, uh, our musical was a uh, high school musical. And I know it's corny, but uh, I'm not gonna break out in we're all in this together, uh, but I, I probably would uh, because that really is the spirit of our institution. I hope you keep that spirit in mind as we move forward. Uh, it's fine to feel anxiety and worry. Uh, we all are dealing with challenges. Let's figure out ways in which we can go through this together and support each other. And uh, again, just remember that we're all in this together as a Perkium and community. Um, I'll be meet, uh, continuing to speak with you frequently. I just wanted to get us off to a good start. I'm excited about virtual Perkium and uh, the jumpstart on Monday and wanted to reach out to all of you as community. So all the best. Thank you.